Hello there, how are you doing? Paramedical course, key points. Question is, if I do a BSc paramedical course, am I eligible to write government staff selection exams? Like state exams and central government exams, BSc and SSC. <laughs> so the co candidate is actually um, doubtful, right? But to be to assure you, a BSc paramedical course is, uh, is a degree course. So the answer is yes, you can write those government exams. And uh, in, other, in other words, you are eligible to apply to any post where degree is a requirement, all right? Now, I would like to take this discussion further to highlight key points about this course and the um, checklist when it comes to picking up your college. Now, please note that when it comes to paramedical course um, uh, versus any arts or science courses, paramedical definitely has much better job prospects, all right? Being uh, it a healthcare um, job and there is healthcare needs everywhere, um, job prospects are much better. Now, if you really observe these uh, paramedical courses over 10 years plus, and the recent years, it has, it has definitely has a lot of significance. And most of these uh, BSc paramedical courses now has PG higher study courses also available. All right. So this is a very good course. Um, so when it comes to uh, merit seats, that is government merit seats where the fees is comparatively very low and when you compare that with the private colleges where you pay for the tuition fee and etc one thing you need to uh, make a note is every state in our country has a agency state agency which process your uh, applications admission applications uh, these days these are centrally managed online so in the state of Kerala, there is LBS center which process the uh, paramedical admission, all right? Um, and when it comes to you getting a seat in a uh, general merit seat, you are required to have 95 percentage plus, all right? Otherwise, it's very difficult. Um, your other alternative is to uh, get a admission in private medical colleges. Okay, and it is worthy. It is worthy. It's not a bad idea. And in any given state, you could easily find up, uh, 30 plus uh, medical colleges. Uh, so you will get an admission. All right. Um, continuing. So when it comes it comes to checklist picking your college, it's very very important. You make a note of this. Your first choice is getting admission in a government medical college uh, for two reasons. One, the expenditure, the tuition fee, etc., are considerably low. Two, um, you get a, you get definitely good exposure. Um, if that doesn't work, you can um, also in medical colleges uh, there will be multi specialities. PG and DNB courses also. So all that put together, you will get definitely a lot of exposure and clinical practice. If you don't get an admission in medical college, government medical college, go for a uh, uh, big private medical colleges where 600 plus beds, and many super specialities or specialties, PG and DNB courses, etc. Uh, so that uh, your clinical practice during the course is very uh, um, significantly good and uh, impressive to your future employer. All right. And your last choice, if nothing works out, is to at least go for a uh, medical college where 300 beds are there. All right. Uh, the reason being, once you finish your course, paramedical course, 
the employer or the recruiter is definitely going to ask you where you study and from that he will make a good understanding how much exposure you got all right so it's very important to watch out the checklist to make sure you have good clean clinical practice all right otherwise for you getting a job will be very difficult now these are the relative videos in my playlist the first one talks in very detail about uh, different types of paramedical course and the admission process the salary etc and the second one talks about speci specifically talks about speech and language therapy and once you've done this psc course what is next the third one is actually a, a different course a clinical child development course this is also a, a super excellent uh, course in healthcare um, so i encourage you to watch it or share it if it is appropriate now the other last part of the video is additional details now i am taking you through the admission process in a state government how the uh, candidates gets the paramedical course admission okay this is a general overview they will um, this is how it goes they will first check your eligibility all right looking at your uh, plus 2 um, uh, credentials and all that and they will first check your credential uh, eligibility for that they will ask you to apply a form online as per the central agency collects all the applications all right and, uh, so, and with, when it comes to entrance exams typically it is in, uh, there is no such entrance exam but private medical colleges do have they have the right to do their own entrance exam so sometimes it is there in any way uh, based on the entrance exam and uh, your uh, 10 plus 2 credentials they will come up with the merit list all right and once you uh, fall into the uh, rank list and they will call you up for uh, for the discussion to decide your institution and seat all right on that day they will verify your documents and give you a confirmation for admission all right so take your time go through this kind of um, text self-explanatory all right and it's okay so i think that's about it i'm sure this video um given you some useful information all right thank you very much all the best